Clarence House tweeted an image of the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall next to a McLaren XE car, writing, It's day three at Hashcop 26 and the Prince is checking out the new at MC Laren X Eka. McLaren Racing was the first F1 team to be certified carbon neutral 10 years ago. A follow-up tweet said, the bespoke car livery features four biomes in which extreme e-races, Arctic, Desert, Amazon, and Ocean. It also displays signatories of at McLaren's Count Us in Pledge, which brings people, business and government together to reduce carbon footprint. One Twitter user called the outing a PR exercise to green a family with a truly obscene carbon footprint. Commenting on the Prince of Wales' activities on day two of the summit, during which he attended a Commonwealth Leaders' reception and an Earthshot Prize event, another user accused him of hypocrisy. They wrote, enough hypocrisy already, I feel sick. And there's still days, a third added, curious as to the royal family's carbon footprint. Surely with all those castles and palaces and hunting lodges, it must be pretty big. Another questioned why Charles Wasnt wearing a mask. They said, with all due respect, show some respect and wear a mask. This ISNT the first time the prince has faced backlash for his climate activism. He was accused of hypocrisy for using a private jet to travel to the climate conference, while urging world leaders to take urgent action on reducing emissions. Meanwhile, billboards attacking Prince Charles and the royal family's record on climate change, made by the Republic movement, were unveiled in Glasgow and across the UK ahead of the climate summit. Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall have held prominent positions at the summit so far, along with Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge. They are the most senior royals in attendance, after the Queen was forced to cancel her attendance as a result of health issues. She gave a pre-recorded speech, which was delivered from Windsor Castle, in which she praised the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cambridge for their climate activism. She said, It is a source of great pride to me that the leading role my husband played in encouraging people to protect our fragile planet, lives on through the work of our eldest son Charles and his eldest son William. I could not be more, indeed, I have drawn great comfort and inspiration from the relentless enthusiasm of people of all ages, especially the young, in calling for everyone to play their part. William and Charles have both given speeches at the summit, with Charles addressing delegates at the opening ceremony, in which he called on world leaders to approach climate change on a war-like footing. He used the speech to tell world leaders that the time to save the planet had quite literally run out.